In this video, you're going to learn how to play emotional music in the style of Ludovico Einaudi, a popular pianist right now. And we're going to use thirds to do it. Welcome back to Butterfly Piano. I'm Ed, and this is Piano Improvising for Beginners. First, listen to what you're going to learn in this video. First, let's play some thirds in the right hand by playing fingers one and three, two and four together, and finally three and five together, and then back to two and four. So one and three, two and four, three and five, and two and four. So get comfortable with this first before we learn the melody. This melody, this intro, comes from a song called Dietro Casa by Ludovico Einaudi, and it uses intervals of a third and a right hand. So get comfortable with this, move it a little faster. When you're comfortable with this, then you're ready to learn the melody. So there are four bars that are repeated over and over, and we count like this in each bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the right hand never plays on beat one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Moving up to B position. One and two and three and four and one. So the first melody begins with fingers one and three, and we do that three times. One and two and, like that, in A position. And then I go to finger two and four, back to one and three, two and four, and one and three again. So it goes like this. One and two and three. So the first part is three times. One and two and and then two and four, one and three, two and four, one and three. One and two and three. Now the next part is very similar, but it ends with finger three and five at the end. One and two and three and four and. So again, we begin with A and the C together three times. Then two and four, one and three, Two and four and three and five. Not playing on beat one. One and two and three and four and. So the first part and the second part are very similar to each other. The first part ends with fingers one and three, and the second part ends with fingers three and five. Otherwise, they're the same. Listen again. One and two and three and four and one. Let's try that again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So to take a little getting, getting comfortable with the intervals of a third, remember to play this, get comfortable. You can do this at the keyboard or away from the keyboard. You can do it on your lap, on the bus, watching a movie, anytime you want really, playing thirds like this. So here's the first two bars again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's in A position. Now the last part of the intro is in B position. But this time we're going to start with fingers two and four. And we also play them three times. And then three and five and then two and four three more times. So we're playing fingers two and four six times. So it's three times here, three and five, and then back to two and four three times. One 
and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And listen again. So from the beginning is in the A position. Now we move up to B position, starting with fingers two and four. And then the last part begins with one and three, three times. Then two and four once, and then one and three, three more times. Now if you notice, the third and the fourth bars are the same, except the third bar starts on the C and the E, and the last part starts on the the one and the three, the B and the D. Listen to the last two parts. And then one note lower. Listen again. One and two and three and four and one. And two and three and four and. So again from the beginning. One and two and three and four and one. Of the B position on fingers two and four, and two and three and four and one, and two and three and four. Again, one, one, two, three, four, B position. Let's look at the left hand now. Here's the chord progression of A minor, F, C, and G. So I'm playing intervals of a fifth, one, two, three, four, five. The right hand is playing intervals of a third. The left hand will play intervals of a fifth. So it's just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When you play it hands together, the left hand will always start first. So we're starting on the A minor chord with just a fifth, without the third, and it goes like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Remember to play it hand separate first, uh, especially the right hand, because that's the melody, and that needs the most uh, attention, I believe. The left hand is quite simple. It's just playing fifths. So here's what it sounds like hands together. Okay, now this time, play the left hand like this. So it's like this. One, two, three, four. It's the same keys. Still playing in an interval of a fifth. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Here we go again. And finally, the last step is to add the sustain pedal in your right foot. Remember to lift the pedal up and down every time the chord changes. So here we go, starting with the left hand. So it goes up and down, up and down, up and down.
louder and softer. It's very emotional music. So start up soft and a little bit louder. Soft, a little bit louder. Soft, a little louder. Let me give you an example of taking what you just learned and creating something new. I'm going to use a simple two bar chord progression of C, G, and F. In the key of C, this is the one chord, the five chord, and the four chord. So here's my little creation using thirds. And by the way, I didn't prepare this, I just sat down and did it. The more you do it, the more natural your own creativity will be. Remember, you're building a library of ideas in your mind that you can access at any time when you sit at the piano. Anything worthwhile and beautiful like piano creativity takes time, so stick with it. In this video, you learned how to play emotional music by using intervals of a third. Thank you so much for watching. If this has been helpful, click on the like and subscribe, share this with your family and friends, and I'll see you in the next video.